Hi, today we will talk about creating animated GIFs in PowerPoint. For many years, PowerPoint users have been asking for this feature. They've wanted to take their PowerPoint slides and convert them into animated GIFs. And finally, Microsoft has heard and given this feature, but only to those who have Office 365 subscriptions. So if you are an Office 365 subscriber, you all probably already have this feature or you're going to get it soon depending upon which level of Office 365 you have. So let's go and finally go and play and find around how you can work with animated GIFs or create animated GIFs in PowerPoint. First of all, you have to make sure that you have the correct version. Okay, so let's just go to the file tab and click on account and look at the about PowerPoint section. For me, it says this is version 2001 with a build of 12425. So, and this is Office Insider. So this is a minimum build you need to have the feature to export your PowerPoint slides to animated GIFs. Okay, let's get back. And we have a few presentations open here. I'm just going to go and get to a few of them. So I have this particular presentation here, which is just a single slide presentation. And it's just got a small animated chart. <clears throat> Let's go and play it in PowerPoint. Animations on, are on click at this point in time, as you see. But uh, remember that uh, on click events really won't fire in an animated chip. So PowerPoint is going to make those clicks automatic. So how do you export to an animated chip? You again access the file tab, go to the export option, and you'll see this option called create an animated chip. And there are presets available here where you can decide what is the size of your animated GIF you want. Uh, you can have it 480p, 720p, 1080p, and the smallest one at 240p. You, you can go and decide what exactly works for you. You can export to all four sizes and see which is the one that you need and stuff like that. But do remember that there's something important that we need to notice over here. And it's a second spend on each slide. It's at one second. So what does this mean? If you have a presentation which has three or four slides and you haven't really put an automatic transition time on that, so this is the transition time. That's a, this is a time that PowerPoint will use for every slide that it exports as an animated GIF, okay? But even then, what if you have an animation on your slide like we do have here? So in that case, the animation will override this one second setting, okay? So let's go and choose Create GIF. And I'm going to say Export as a Create GIF. I've already exported it for you to save time. I don't want to go run through the whole export process in front of you. So let's go and see the result here. Here we go. And this is our animated GIF that we exported. It's like at 20, almost 22 megabytes over here. And let's go and play it now. There you go. No, this is not the one. This is the one. I'm just going to refresh it so you can see it from the beginning. And that's the animated GIF. Notice that all animated GIFs exported from PowerPoint loop indefinitely. You can't have them set to loop on play only once or loop five times and stuff like that. That option is still not available in PowerPoint. So what do you do if you don't want uh, the next slide uh, to loop uh, continuously? What if you want a certain sort of gap? So what I have done here is let me go and show it to you. It is actually gone and added a second slide here. And in the second slide, it's just a black slide, a simple slide. And I've added a transition time of two seconds over there. And then I exported this one as well, with choosing the file export animated, create an animated GIF option. Let's look at the result here. And this is a one, okay? It's slightly higher because of an <coughs> extra black slide there. So it comes to around 23.4 megabytes. And let's go and look how this one works. Let's refresh this. So when this goes on playing to the all the uh, chart animations on the first slide, it moves on to the second slide, gives you a buffer of two seconds, and then again loops. Now this is not an ideal solution, but it's still better than having it play all over again uh, almost instantly, unless that's what you want. Okay, now 
the, the, uh, this is a standard typical default PowerPoint slide with a 16 by 9 widescreen resolution uh, over there. But if you go and go to PowerPoint, I have another presentation here, which I'm using the older 4 by 3 aspect ratio. And uh, so if you want to export a deck, uh, because a lot of times people, when they're exporting animated, just may not want widescreen, they more want other sizes. So you can actually just go in your design tab and go and choose slide size and you can swap between standard and widescreen or you can go and set your own custom size. Now this is something you should ideally do before you start creating a presentation from scratch because if you do this after your slides already created then uh, what, what may happen is uh, your slide objects may move and uh, your pictures may squish and stuff like that. You don't want that to happen and you might have to do a little housekeeping in that case. So ideally you would set the size even before you get started creating the presentation. So we've exported this one as well. This is six slides and let's go and see the results for this one. And over here you can see that uh, for this six slide presentation we ended up with something like 22 megabytes. So it's, uh, you know, it's uh, safe enough to say that a lot of stuff, uh, uh, animated GIFs that you export from PowerPoint are not going to be very small in size. They're going to be pretty large. So let's just go and refresh this one. But one good stuff over there is the quality is awesome. You can look at the way animation works and everything else. So it really gives you an optimal quality. I would have to admit that export quality is amazing. And that's even more apparent when you go and look at something of this sort, where there's a slide where I've actually just added a video clip and put some text on top of that. And uh, let's go and play it in PowerPoint. And you can see the video plays here. And let's now go and check at the animated shift that PowerPoint created from this video clip. So this is with, it's like 73 megabytes out of a presentation that was around 15 megabytes earlier. And I have it open in the browser here. And let's refresh it. And you can see the video quality is very good considering it's an animated shift where the color maximum color limit is only 256 colors so it's done an awesome job so that's how you would go and play with the stuff in powerpoint it's an amazing new option and i'm really looking forward to using the animated shifts that i create from powerpoint thank you for being here and uh, watch out for more videos bye Explore more concepts at InDesign.com InDesign Make better presentations Fast